Kyle, Kyle, we're, we're gonna do? have to. Kyle, we're gonna have to do the just so you know, Andrew thing again. Yeah, we don't we don't have to do it like every single time. Like I'll edit it so like we'll just repeat this versions of it, this versions mm -hmm. thing. But you don't have to say that line every single time. All right, right. But say it, say it a little faster, Kyle. Kyle? No, no, uh, uh, Kyla, you're still in the scene at the beginning. But, like, at the end, you get exiled. Oh, okay. Just that entire part, right? Names. Yeah, just, just, just the entire part. And then after that, we don't have to do it again. Okay. Alright, Jaime. Uh, three, two, one, go. Action. Chapter right. two. Oh. <laughs> what? Chapter two. Sorry. Can I read now? Yes, go, go for okay. it. Chapter two. The tense timeline. We're back to the interior of the bus, just minutes early. The bus is once again by the gate instead of in the parking lot. Everyone except for Andrew looks tense, like they were before. Andrew picks up the Rubik's Cube. Alright. Connor's red. Maddie's orange. Eliza's yellow. Derek's green. I'm blue. And Kim's white. Your color comes up. You go. Just so you know, Andrew, you're creating six different timelines. It's called chaos. Okay, Kyle, can we do that line just like faster? <laughs> can we do that okay. line? Yeah. <laughs> just so you know, okay. Tell you go. Go. Just so you know, Andrew, you're creating six different timelines. It's called chaos theory. Of course, Derek. Of course. Okay. Okay. Liza go. hits play. Wait, sorry, sorry, pause. Yeah, we, we don't need to do that ever again, so we don't need to read those lines again. Right, so, so, yeah, good, go, good, go. Good, good. Yeah, go, Hannah. Eliza hits play. Sweet Caroline by Neil Diamond starts playing. Andrew throws the Rubik's Cube. And he lands on orange. Orange? That's... Maddie! Oh, no, 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 no. That, 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 that can't be right. The, the Rubik's Cube, it, 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 it hit that seat. We roll. Ah, uh, so now that your crush is going to get suspended, you want to reroll? Crush me. Couldn't be. No, Eliza, not at all. Look, I'm just saying the Rubik's Cube collided with the seed and affected the world. And for the last time, I do not have a crush on Maddie. You wouldn't request for a reroll if the cube was any other color than Maddie's. You poor, innocent child. Eliza's right, bro. You're letting your crush and Maddie get in the way of the rules you made. You made. Where's the honor? Maddie just stares at Andrew, much to his embarrassment. Low blow, guys, real low. How dare how dare you expose such a personal secret like that? Pathetic. It's a small school, Andrew. When one person knows a secret, shut up! Derek, no one asked for your stupid catchphrase. That's besides the point, Andrew. You're trying to weasel your way out of the agreement. Stick to your word. It landed on Maddie, so she has to be suspended. What happened to your morals, Kim? W weren't you against the whole idea? What, what, what? Sorry, the page reloaded. Ooh. Someone should select it. There. Yeah, can someone select it? Uh, mm -hmm. click on my name. Hey there. I see me all talk to someone. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright, from, uh, from, am I the only one? Only one more concerned about Andrew having a crush on me than being suspended. You didn't know? I always knew, I just didn't realize so many people did as well. Andrew gets really red in the face. All of you, shut up! Like, I, I don't really mind. Like, a crush is a crush after all. You can't control that. I'm just not into relationships right now. We're re-rolling. Andrew rolls the Rubik's Cube again. And it lands on orange. 
seriously? <laughs> Andrew, I... you you agreed to the whole one in six chance thing. You knew there was a risk. We all did. And now that the odds aren't in your favor, you're lashing out. A security guard enters the bus without saying anything. The four others, everyone except for Andrew, immediately point at Maddie. The guard nods as he grabs her, handcuffs her, and begins taking her off the bus. Fair game. I was willing to risk everything and got unlucky. No hard feelings. Best of luck, everyone. Enjoy high school. Maddie and the guard exit the bus, just as Neil Diamond begins singing everyone's favorite lyric. Speak out alive. Uh. Kim stops, and Eliza turns off the music. Kim gets up, and heads to the back seat, and begins reading her book. I can't believe you would- sorry, I'll do that again. I can't believe you would form a pact against- ugh, again. I can't believe you would form a pact against- oh my god, one more time. I can't believe you would form a pact against me, after all I've done for you. Remind me, Andrew, what exactly have you done for us? All you did was make a dumb plan, because you were too lazy to actually solve the crime. A ding noise is heard. Ding. Connor checks under his seat and picks up his easy big oven. Hold on to that thought. My honey glazed pork chops are ready! Connor puts his oven mitts on as he carefully grabs his pork chops. I don't want any of your stupid pork chops. They taste like rat poison and they're probably undercooked anyway. Good. I was going to offer you any after the way you've been acting. Show some honor, ma'am. You know what else is undercooked? The earwax seems to be. Everyone is disgusted and gross. Mm. Connor. Yeah. Connor examines the pork chops and notices that they actually are undercooked and puts them back in. Anyone want some candy? Andrew? Eliza? I'm really in the mood, man. I lost a lot of trust in these two. No respect for anyone's privacy. As I said, stitches get stitches. I'll have one, Derek. Unlike Andrew, I'm not here to be a bitter bet. The Rubik's Cube is fair and square. We all had that chance. Derek hands Eliza the candy. She pops it in her mouth and immediately spits it out. She shrieks in disgust. Derek yeah. gives a poop-eating grin. What's wrong? Warheads, only the sourest torture candy in the world. I heard some prisons use it as a way to torture the inmates. Andrew just chuckles at Eliza's misfortune. <laughs> wow. Not funny. Not funny at all. My taste buds are completely broken now. How else am I going to enjoy my after school Starbucks? Shame on you for laughing, Andrew. And shame on you for giving her that twerk trick, Andy Derek. Anyone want a pork chop? Andrew just rolls his eyes and stands up ready to leave. He doesn't realize that his shoes are untied and trips over his own shoelaces while Derek, Eliza, and Connor all laugh at him. <laughs> ah, I think I twisted my ankle. That's karma, Andrew. Live by the cube, die by the cube. Well, he felt it anyway. As the bus arrives in the parking lot, Andrew wobbles. He struggles as no one is there to help him. He exits the bus. And to think I used to have a crush on him. You used to have a crush on Andrew? Yep. He was always too distracted by Maddie to see it. Audacious. No one should ever have a liking a girl as their whole identity. Now that she's getting suspended, it shouldn't be a problem. Hypocrite. <laughs> I beg your dearest pardon. That was a really loud whisper, Eliza. We need to work on that. I mean, isn't your one defining trait that you love cooking? It gets really repetitive after, after a while. Excuse me. Really goes to show how much you know me. No, Eliza. 
I'm a lot more than just a provider of adequate meals for my friends. I had a fairy tale phase a few years ago. Everyone else seems to think so. We know you're sucking up. Jesus. This is the last straw for Connor. He stops past Eliza and Garrick and exits the bus. With no one to check on the Easy Bake Oven, the entire thing explodes into flames. Hmm. Oof. I wonder if his pork chops taste better in the other timelines. Eliza just looks at Derek, rolls her eyes, and walks away. Alright. We're back to the interior of the bus, just minutes earlier. The bus hasn't arrived at the parking lot yet. Everyone except for Andrew looks tense, like they were before. Andrew picks up the Rubik's Cube. Okay, we don't need to, we don't need to redo the line. Alright, there you go. It's the end okay. of Act 1. <laughs> so wait, what's the final right, I'm just going to drink some water. Be right back. Yeah. What's the final ending for this? I think I need some water as well. Uh, the final